Twitter may have its own rules. It's not a universal rule. <laughs> the mission of Twitter in Nigeria is very, very suspect. What? <laughs> what did you say? The mission of Twitter in Nigeria is very, very suspect. What? You mean suspicious? It's very, very suspect. Jesus is not. <laughs> If an organization is proscribed, it is different from any other organization which is not proscribed. What? What? We are not going to be uh, uh, fooled by anybody. <laughs> we have a country to rule. I will punish you. There is an accounting. There is an accounting. Party where police, police they close that police, that they close police station by six o'clock because of the because of the <laughs> Twitter's mission in Nigeria, give certain those two examples is very suspect. That's some real wrong eh, shit. The problem is you talk too much, nigga. You talk fucking too much. <laughs> <laughs> Are you not saying that Mr. President does not have the right to express his dismay? What do you say? Are you not saying that Mr. President does not have the right to express his dismay? <laughs> oh, no, you blue book! <laughs> what do you say? His dismay? What the fuck? What do you say? His dismay? Hold on, hold on, hold on! Hold the fuck up, nigga, shit! I've been listening to you, you've been saying all type of shit! <laughs> now... We should stop comparing apples with oranges. Jesus is Lord! You know you can be prosecuted for that! If Mr. President, anywhere in the world, feels very bad and concerned about his situation, he is free to express such views. God will punish you. The country is facing insecurity, not social media problems. I don't think we have leaders. I think we have unknown leaders. We have confused people. <laughs> Lai Mohammed is a notorious liar. <laughs> Your Excellency, Mr. Senate President, there's only one small issue I want to draw your attention to in my CV. It's about my name. <laughs> my name, as it appears on your CV, is my correct name, which is Lai Muhammad. <laughs> Please don't believe what they say on the social media. What? What do you say? Please don't believe what they say on the social media. I used to ignore it until one day when my seven-year-old grandson called me and said, Grandpa, tell me the truth. Why did they call you liar Mohammed? <laughs> I looked at him. What do you say to a seven-year-old son? How do you explain politics to him? So I said, no, don't mind them. They are the bad guys. <laughs> These actors. <laughs> when I go school finish, when I know they know anything, <laughs> you'll be full, huh? <laughs> they call me all sorts of names there. That's why we're working where we are. Well, that's why we're working where we are. Well, why we're where we are today. <laughs> I said, no, don't mind them. They are the bad guys. <laughs> My brother, you be fool, oh. <laughs> Later, I found out 
that those names were actually the names of their cartoon bad guys. <laughs> I had no idea what he meant, but I say yes. My question to you, Honorable Minister, is what is happening in terms of the armed bandits and the activities in the northwest part of that has completely distorted the socioeconomic life of most people and threatened the national security of Nigeria? Does it not qualify for? these persons to also be declared as a terrorist organization of a prescribed. A group like Apple. What do you say? A group like Apple. Arab. Say so. <laughs> does not even recognize Nigeria as a state. What do you say? A group like Apple, IPOB, does not even recognize Nigeria as a state. What do you say? Nigeria as a state. <laughs> What do you say? Nigeria as a state. What? Nigeria as a state. What? What the fuck? I pop. Does not even recognize Nigeria as a state. Then I caught you. Caught you where police, police, they close the police, they close police station by six o'clock because of the because of the And when a group says, we are not Nigerians. Which one way we talk? Where police don't kill our people finish? I mean, the one where they say yes, we go to church our women. How the men, the men, your women, where they for help there? They don't go catch them because now all those your women are in they pay their salary. Say it's a country. That's it's not a country. <laughs> eh? We set up our own government. We set up our own foreign relations. Then that group is threatening the very existence, the sovereignty of the country. Jesus is Lord. You know you can be prosecuted for that. What do you say? When a group says we are not Nigerians, we set up our own government, we set up our own foreign relations, then that group is threatening the very existence, the sovereignty of the country. What the fuck? Say this on our country. No, tell me in our country where we say pastors don't turn, they don't turn church to Sakon. Please. Don't compare apples with oranges. What? Don't let you arm robbers. Arm robbers, don't they threaten security of lands and property? They do. Is that why you, is, is there anywhere in the world that arm robbers have been prescribed? That's some real wrong ish. <laughs> are, are you classifying these persons as ordinary arm robbers? Oh, they might be super arm robbers, but what do they do? They take what does not belong to them, they kill people. In the process, God will punish you. Please, don't, don't let's, uh, you know, uh, 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 walk away. Don't, don't, don't let you be no more. <laughs> but are they not threatening the sovereignty of Nigeria by taking arms against citizens of Nigerian states? Security challenges is one thing. Challenging the very sovereignty of Nigeria is a completely different thing. That's the problem. That's why we're waiting. Where we're, we're, we're well, that's why we're here today. Is where we are today, and why we're where, where we are, why we're where we are today. <laughs> this is about this is about. Listen, 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 listen. No, let let us get my make my clear. I pop was not prescribed just because of the violence. I pop was prescribed because I I pop, as a group, refuses to recognize the sovereignty of Nigeria as a country. Say this on our country. What do you say if I'm like that person, like I'm like the This one is the biggest threat, sir. Um, a threat of somebody who challenges the sovereignty of the country, or the threat of somebody who carries sophisticated weapons challenging security operatives in a country. Uh, you see, uh, uh, it's very simple. When a person carries, you know, Subsequent weapon. It's just a criminal. Ah! <laughs> oh, no, <you're> <laughs> but are they not threatening the sovereignty of Nigeria by taking arms against citizens of Nigerian state? 
Security challenges is one thing. Challenging the very sovereignty of Nigeria is a completely different thing. What? <laughs> when a person carries, you know, sophisticated weapon, it's just a criminal. That's some real wrong shit. <laughs> like I kept telling you, we've had many hundreds of terrorists who have been neutralized. Please, don't come here at us with oranges. Hold on, hold on, hold, on, hold the fuck up, nigga, shit. I've been listening to you, you've been saying all type of shit. The problem is you talk too much, nigga. You talk fucking too much. I don't think we have leaders. I think we have unknown leaders. We have confused people.